During the commercial break for the 2023 Super Bowl on February 12th, viewers were presented with what now is a rare sight, someone who isn't a zookeeper holding a baby cougar. This is now something you will now rarely see for two reasons. Several animal rights pushing entities have pressured television and filmmakers to stop using live animal actors. And recently in December of 2022, a law called the Big Cat Public Safety Act actually banned members of the public from coming into contact with tigers, cheetahs, and of course cougars, even if they are harmless pups. Joel McHale, who was one of the privileged few to hold a cougar cub, did so for his upcoming series Animal Control, which is a sitcom that is set to premiere on February 16, 2023 on Fox. The cougar cub in question is also set to appear in one of the show's episodes. Animal Control is described as a workplace comedy following a group of animal control workers whose lives are complicated by the fact that animals are simple but humans are not. Indeed, that is the case because while Mikhail is in no real danger from the cougar cub, he could not engage in the same activity now within the United States. As the Animal Control series was filmed in Vancouver, it's possible the commercial was also filmed in Canada, which may explain how he was able to legally do this. Either that or the commercial was filmed prior to the act's passage in December. Cougars, also called mountain lions or pumas, are larger cats, but they are not as large as the true big cats of the Panthera genus, such as lions and tigers. Cougars are comparatively medium-sized, especially if they descend from populations located closer to the equator. Human fatalities from adult cougars, both in the wild and in captivity, are extremely rare. And of course, a fatality caused by any such big cat cub or any small to medium-sized feline species has not happened and has a very low likelihood of ever occurring. Therefore, there was never any need to ban the public from touching these animals on the basis of public safety, nor should Mr. McHale and a limited exclusive few be the only ones allowed to have the opportunity over everyone else. 